Hey everyone, I'm Regina and today I'll be talking about some possible winter trends in Japan for 2023. Um, so some trends from fall will carry over into winter such as shimmery knits, feathers, and off-shoulder or built neck tops. And some trends from last winter will carry over into this winter as well, such as stand collar coats or shaggy cardigans and knits. So check out each respective video to learn more about those trends. Um, as always, timestamps will be down below, so feel free to skip around, just leave a like in exchange, please and thank you. So the first item on our list is velour fabric. Um, I guess velour fabric is considered to be like a winter knit, but I definitely feel like it comes in and out of fashion. Um, when I think of velour, of course, I automatically think of the Juicy Couture tracksuits of the 2000s. Um, and while I feel like people in the West have kind of breathed life back into the brand, at least like a little bit, at least on TikTok, um, I don't really see those tracksuits getting really popular here at all all um maybe i can see like some ghettos wearing tracksuits kind of similar to that but i don't really see those sets kind of taking off um in that similar fashion in terms of general japanese style i think that velour pants skirts and dresses will be like the go-to velour items here um i think that velour can be kind of an overwhelming fabric so in terms of styling like velour bottoms um, I think most people will probably just pair them with a simple knit on top. One look that stood out to me during the research for this video is this one look from Monomart under the Forksy brand or Forksy label. Um, I just really love the different textures that we're working with in this outfit from the ruffle trim of the dress shirt to the shagginess of the cardigan to the soft sheen of the velour pants. Um, I also really like the wider relaxed silhouette of these pants. I really feel like it helps modernize the pants a little bit. And topping this look off is a satin, almost metallic ballet shoe, which is just an absolute um, delightful pop of color. So I just really like the styling of this outfit a lot. So Japanese women and girls just love a good cami dress. So I can see um, velour cami dresses possibly being on trend this winter. Um, again, we are just simply layering a simple knit under these dresses to complete the look. Um, I really like how the brand Genesis blends a bit of a sporty flair in their outfits, like with this track jacket here and this very casual long sleeve shirt here paired with these chunky boots. So personally, I just really love the dimensionality that Velour has as a fabric, especially in like jewel toned colors. Um, but besides like neutral colors like black and gray, I think that maybe green will probably be the more popular color in terms of jewel tones, especially compared to red. In terms of layering in fall and winter, I feel like Japanese women and girls really love using striped turtleneck knits or any striped top in general. Um, I feel like these are kind of like reinterpretations of those kind of stereotypical classic um, French striped tops that you kind of see around and I guess I shouldn't really be surprised about this because I think Japan in general just has this kind of overall adoration for France. So I'm not really surprised to see this in like daily styling as well. With that being said, um, I have noticed that in fall and maybe into winter as well, that these stripes are kind of getting a little bigger and a little bolder and depending on personal style, even a little bit more colorful too. Um, I'm not really sure if this is like um, influenced from like Korean fashion or if this is simply a part of the um, fashion trend cycle because I think that these kind of bolder striped tops were kind of popular in maybe the late 2000s early 2010s but I'm not quite sure about that. I really like this outfit from this TikTok user here um, and this TikTok she pairs this men's knit with a frilly white skirt and this shaggy knit in particular is from a brand called On Silly and I've seen quite a few other girls styling this top as well. Another pattern that has been creeping its way back is plaid. Um, in my fall trends video, I talked about how in the past couple of years, I haven't really noticed that many people wearing plaid, um, but this past fall, I have been noticing more people wearing the pattern, so I guess it's on its way back. These plaids are kind of more simple in terms of their pattern, and they're usually in like more neutral or muted colors compared to like the bold red that we usually think about when we think of plaid. 
So in terms of coats, I think that short coats like pea coats um, will be a little bit more popular this year. So any kind of coat that ends anywhere above the knee. Most of these coats have a loose silhouette and I've noticed that a lot of people are styling them as kind of like mini dresses, which I think is really, really cute. Quilted coats will be popular this year too, but instead of the square patterned quilt coats, I think that the round onion patterned quilt coats will be more on trend for this year. Um, to me, they kind of give this kind of outdoorsy, let's go hiking, let's go camping kind of a vibe, but they're really easy to style with any kind of style. So from like casual to slightly chic to boyish to girly. Those slightly oversized leather bomber jackets have been kind of popular abroad and they'll be popular here in Japan too. Um, the way that people are styling them isn't really that much different from anywhere else. I do like this outfit here from a brand called Nemne. I think I just really like a good contrasting moment. So again, we got something that's rather hard and tough with the leather jacket on top with something that's more light and soft with the tulle skirt on the bottom. Satin collar coats and wax jackets like the ones from Barber will also be on trend for this winter. Um, I know that they're technically kind of different but they both have like a similar silhouette and a similar collar shape so I'm putting them in one category and I know that these coats and jackets probably work better for fall but I feel like some people will wear them into winter as well depending on how cold it gets. Uniqlo has its own version um, so I think that this trend will be widely adopted. With that being said the one from Uniqlo I don't think it's technically a wax jacket per se, but it does have that similar silhouette and collar shape. And that's kind of like what's on trend here. But um, I think they're simple enough that people can dress them up or down. But yeah, they definitely give off that kind of British sort of a vibe. And next up we have kind of a shaky prediction, um, but I think that maybe we'll see a few, and I mean like a few houndstooth coats this winter. Um, but I do feel like it's a little bit too early in the fashion trend cycle for them to come back. Um, but if we do see them, then I think that the houndstooth pattern might not be um, as bold or as contrasted. I can see this kind of pattern in a kind of muted color palette or in like a smaller size of a pattern so it's not so bold and out there. Knit shorts also seem to be quite popular this year, especially knit shorts that come with a matching top as a set. Um, I think that once we hit January, it will be um, a little bit too cold to be wearing these knit sets out and about, but I have been noticing them throughout fall among like, um, kind of like streetwear or like gyaru fashion circles. Throughout fall, these New Balance sneakers have been quite popular and they'll probably be popular into winter and into next year as well. Um, I thought about getting these, but I ended up not getting them and now I'm just like kicking myself for not getting them. Um, I really like how sleek they are and even though they're very, very sleek, they still have this kind of a round essence to them. And in terms of these sneakers, this white beige colorway seems to be the most popular among women here. In terms of boots in general, knee-high boots have been popular for the past couple of years now, especially those that are like kind of chunky with those track soles on the bottom. And those short Ugg boots um, from last year will be popular this year as well. Um, I have noticed that some brands are offering these kind of um, sock boot hybrids. Um, I think when we think of a sock boot, we think of a shoe that is more sock than boot, but for these ones that I've been seeing, they're more like 50-50, like half sock, half boot. Um, according to some people, um, the sock part makes them really easy to put on, and I'd imagine they'd be comfortable to walk in as well around that ankle area. And they probably keep your feet more dry compared to the typical sock boot. And I think that the knit part of these boots kind of helps make them really, really casual. So you can kind of dress them up or dress them down depending on what you're wearing from like a nice dress to a simple pair of jeans. So silver bags are the bags for winter. And I feel like they've been the bags for winter for the past couple of winters now. And even throughout the year, to be honest, I think that's definitely that Y2K influence kicking in. Um, mostly I've been seeing silver bags as like shoulder bags or like cross body bags. 
Um, and I've also seen some silver bags that are actually sequin silver bags, um, especially ones from the brand Ante Prima. But that's basically all from me today. Please let me know which Japanese winter trend you liked the best and leave a like and subscribe. Um, I thought that this year I was going to be uploading more videos, but that didn't happen. There was a lot going on this year, but this channel did reach 1000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much for subscribing and commenting and etc, etc. And maybe I'll see you next time. Bye.